Hello. Uh, I started this week with something serious, and it seemed to get more flippant as the week went on. First of all, what right have we? What right have we for ease or pleasure to rape our homeworld's living treasure? Each species lost a tragic cost that our GDP fails to measure. The waterways and air we spoil as offshoots of our lust for oil don't even flicker the exchequer or cause the wealthy to recoil. Did we concede to wealth the power to pour contempt from ivory towers upon our progeny? What devil's right have we to value their lives less than ours? Puzzles of the Universe, number 781. Why, oh, why, oh, why is there lemon meringue pie? Its seduction prevails. My abhorrence of scales is destined to last till I die. <clears throat> to put things in perspective here, the case against humour. <clears throat> An eager law student from York habitually peppered his talk with risque one-liners not suited to minors and snippets of Jackson's moonwalk. Though some praised his original style, most thought it would be more worthwhile to keep a straight face, keep his thoughts on the case. That way, he just might win a trial. You'll never learn. Sweet Fortune. <clears throat> ah, yes. There once was a young fortune teller who fell for a candy floss seller. Her tarot cards, though, saw a future of woe if she chose to conjoin with that fella. He could safely be kept as a friend, but his lifeline did not far extend. He had more than enough of his pink and white stuff and would soon reach a sad, sticky end. <clears throat> this next one, uh, follow the New York floods, reviewing the situation. Republican New Yorkers must be finding it tricky to trust their party's elite as they wade through the street, knowing climate change isn't discussed. A typical September shower, they might say, though it storms hour on hour. Do not heed the fears of those climate doomsayers as long as our party gains power. But maybe a few pioneers will ask of their psychophant peers, which matters more, the world or the score in the ballot box every four years? Finally, a little bit of nonsense. True or false? A paradox simply implies that true or false are both lies. Like the classic, of course, this statement is false, or the future of climate deniers. Thank you. It's free to subscribe if you wish to do so, and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now.